I'm here right now with uh, Rick Cow, who is the official EMC of Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Um, it has been for, I guess what, going on 20 plus years now? No, I'd say probably closer to 12 or 13. Okay. Seems like 20 sometimes. <laughs> right. Well, Rick, I, uh, I noticed that you, I did a search on the internet last night of, of Big Rock and, and stuff like that. And I, I didn't see a whole lot about you, but obviously you're very instrumental and um, the Big Rock success and building energy and excitement yeah. and stuff when, when stuff comes in and when, while, while uh, boats are, are coming in offshore, you kind of keep the, the crowd energized and, and, and tuned to what's going on. So if you could tell us a little bit about what brought you to the Big Rock and uh, how you became in your position that you are. How did I become the Big Rock guy? Yeah. Well, honestly, uh, Years and years back in those 20 something years ago, you're talking about, I worked for a guy named Ben Moore. And Ben owned a company called Outer Banks Outfitters. And Outer Banks Outfitters at that time was the major sponsor for the Big Rock Tournament for 13 years, in fact. And uh, as a result, I, you know, I became initiated with the Big Rock. I mean, carrying t shirts back and forth and, you know, stuff like that. And it wasn't until some years later that one of the people that was kind of higher up in the tournament asked me would I consider coming down at the old uh, location and uh, entertaining the crowd that she knew that I, you know, I'm a musician, I've, I've got all the equipment, I'm not scared to get up in front of people. And it was a good fit, plus she knew that I knew about fishing, offshore fishing particularly, uh, because I had done quite a bit of that. And uh, so it was kind of a natural fit and we just started out not, not even with TV, just up here with a microphone and the local crowd. You know how it grows when, when everybody hears a pitch is coming in, man. Like, Absolutely. everybody just zooms in down here. So it, 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 that was the beginning. And then, uh, let's see, nine years ago now, uh, for the 50th anniversary of the tournament, they decided they wanted to, they being the tournament directors, decided they wanted to step up the game a little bit. And they said, hey, we're going to do live television. I mean, how would you like that? I'm like, heck yeah. So I did it. And then the rest is history. I mean, we built it up from that, with nothing, to what it is today. And you know, you may not see a lot about me, per se. People see me out here doing this, doing the announcing, and so forth on TV. But really, in reality, I'm a low-key guy in general. You know, this tournament, in and of itself, is the tournament, not me. Okay, I'm just a small, small part of it. But it seems to be, obviously, the part that most people see. Right, but you're also the voice. I mean, I'm the voice of the Big Rock. Now, I will say this. I must clarify because Randy Ramsey is the voice of the BHF radio. So he's the guy that all the boats are talking to offshore all day long, calling in their releases or their hookups or the fact they boated a fish. So everybody hears Randy throughout the day, and he does a fantastic job, you know. And uh, it just so happens I'm the voice of the, of the way station. I'll put it that way. Right. Well, that's awesome. I mean, definitely... Definitely keep the um, crowd energized. You can see it when you're when you're broadcasting and, yeah. and broadcasting on Big Rock TV. Yep. Uh, for those of you that are going to view this video, do some searching of the Big Rock. I certainly encourage you to check out Big Rock TV. Um, start sharing on social media. Uh, let's help this tournament grow. You know, this year is the 59th annual, and we've got 177 boats, uh, 2.4 million dollar purse. Um, and that it's obvious that this this tournament is the the end all be all for blue marlin fishing on the east coast uh, and probably in the gulf of mexico as well i don't know of any other tournament that is really as big in the gulf of mexico. well i'll tell you this is truly one of this is a truly a world-class fishing tournament we have guys from all over the place come up in here in the moorhead city spend their money in carteret county which is important to us uh, because we're raising money for charity, that's what the Big Rock's all about, really. Right. Naturally, we give a whole bunch of money away to the winners. Uh, but our desire, our main emphasis is raising money for charities, and particularly local charities. We just gave, within a couple of weeks ago, $262,000 uh, to the local Salvation Army. Uh, so really, that's what makes me the, the happiest being involved with the tournament, knowing that uh, we're doing good for our community. Right, and we really need to, to give a shout out too to Jarrett Bay and Re Release Marine, yep. um, major sponsors for the Big Rock. Yeah. Um, and they help, you know, bring in obviously um, 
money and attention to this charitable cause that y'all do. And y'all, you know, if you're not from Morehead City, the Big Rock is responsible for a lot of, of growth in this county and funding schools and charitable organizations all throughout the county. As is Cherry Bay for that matter. Right. You know, they built their boats about 10 miles from here. And they, are, and they are a large employer of, of you know local people here in our community, so that's a good thing. And they pump out a mean sled of a, of a fishing rig, you know. And uh, Randy Ramsey has taken that place from next a single little garage, if you will, in Marshallburg, to a huge industrial complex out there outside of Beaufort, uh, off of Highway 101. Uh, and you know, so that's a real success story. And uh, we know how to build fishing boats here in Eastern North Carolina, I can no tell doubt. you that. No doubt. Uh, so they were a great fit, obviously, for the Big Rock and Ball Return. They were so thrilled to have Chair Bay Boat Works on the board with us. And of course, Release Marine, the fabricators of great fishing chairs, fighting chairs, rocket launchers, battle saddles. Really, they're just beautiful works of art uh, that are highly functional. Uh, and a, look, that, when you're out there offshore, stuff breaks, you yeah, know? No so they, they, they make a product that, that doesn't, essentially, you know? And uh, so we're proud and so happy to have them as our PlayStation sponsor, Release Marine out of Georgia. And uh, those guys have been doing this a long time. I've been in this industry a long time, and I can remember back in the 80s, Release Marine. They were the ones back then, they're the ones today. Uh, so we're thrilled to have those guys on board as well. Awesome. Well, this is again Rick Cow. He's the EMC of the official EMC of the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. I prefer to say EMC, but uh, EMC would work yes. if that's what you Did want I to say call EMC? it. I say EMC. Uh, I could be called the host, the guy, <laughs> the MC of the tournament. But really, I'm the guy that keeps everybody apprised on www.thebigrock.com. You can check us out today and every day, every afternoon during the tournament uh, to keep up with um, you know all the events that are going on, what's happening and fishing wise as, as a, a fishman boat, what's the ETA, all that you can learn on uh, www.thebigrock.com and you can watch us live right there. Awesome Rick, I appreciate you talking to me. Alrighty, thank you, enjoyed it. Tight lines.